Welcome to Rural Gear Reviews. I'm Mark from RV Love, and today we're talking about the RhinoFlex Sewer Hose Kit. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Rural Gear Reviews. Again, today we're talking about the RhinoFlex Sewer Hose Kit. This is everything you need to be able to dump your holding tanks of your RV into a dump station or into a sewer receptacle at a full hookup site. So our sewer hose is one of the first thing every RVer needs to buy and it's one of those things that you absolutely do not want to cheap out on. The last thing you want is to be this guy. <laughs> so let's open up the box and have a look. It's going to have four items in there. It's going to have two different caps, one cap for the elbow end, one cap for the bayonet end, a four-in-one adapter to make sure your connection with your sewer receptacle, and of course the hose itself. The hose itself is very different from a lesser expensive sewer hose in that the material it's made of is polyolefin and it's a much more durable and strong material, much higher quality. Most sewer hoses are made with vinyl and they deteriorate over time with UV exposure and weather exposure and if you move them at all, dragging them on the ground. And what can happen is a lesser quality material will degrade and start springing leaks and eventually fail and cause a big mess. And I personally am a bit of a germaphobe and so one of the worst things that could happen is having a sewer hose fail and so buying a higher quality sewer hose is really important to me. One of the other great features about the RhinoFlex sewer hose is that it holds its shape. You can see that when you have it in its compressed shape, it holds its shape very well, but you can also bend it and it will hold that shape. That's really important because when you start letting water run through this hose, if it's a flimsy hose, it will start flipping around and it has a big risk of coming out of the sewer connection and creating basically a sewage sprayer. And that's the last thing you want. It's really a mess and that would be a really embarrassing thing to clean up. This is the newest version. The version that I have has a translucent elbow. This one has a clear elbow. And why that's important is it allows you to see when the water's coming through it, not only to let you know when the tanks are done being emptied, but if you're flushing your tanks, it will let you know when the water's running clear. It's also on a 360 degree swivel, which allows you to avoid kinking or twisting the hose because you can just get the end of the hose to the right direction for when you want to empty it. This black part right here, you can probably hear it click it actually locks the hose onto the fitting. And because I've actually heard of people have these fittings come loose from the hose, again, causing a big mess that you don't want to be cleaning up. So this end of the hose is the hose that attaches to the RV. And you'll notice that there's four connectors on the bayonet fitting. Some sewer hoses only have two, which of course, again, is a less secure fitting. When it's in its fully compressed state, it's at 56 inches long, and when it's fully extended, it's 15 feet. A lot of travel trailers, the sewer hoses are stored in a four inch bumper on the back of it. This will fit in those bumpers as it is. And in the kit, it comes with caps for both ends, one for the bayonet fitting, and one, of course, for the elbow fitting. That'll help you avoid having any leaks in your storage area, and also prevent some odors. Our RV has a wet bay that has plenty of room to store these. We just coil them up and put the caps on. And the last item in the box is the 4-in-1 adapter. And you can see there's a smooth fitting here. And there's also threaded fittings for a 3.5 inch and a 4 inch sewer hose connection. And so what you'll do is you just screw this down into the connection. And then you take the elbow part and do a quick quarter turn and lock it in place. Another product we're really a big fan of is this Sidewinder hose support system. And these come in varied lengths from 10 feet up to 20 feet. And basically what it's going to be doing is it's helping support your hose and give a nice gradual grade down to the drainage point. Not only does it keep a nice steady grade, but it also elevates it off the ground. And in many cities and counties, that's actually a law. You have to keep your sewer hose off the ground. And so a product like this is really important.
And as I mentioned, our RhinoFlex sewer hose comes in a 15 foot length. They also sell a extension hose, which is another 10 feet. We don't need to use it very often, but we have had to use it a handful of times and it's really been worthwhile. It has the same nice fittings and bayonet fittings, so it's easily attached to your existing sewer hose connection. It's even nice when it holds its shape like this because when you hold it, you can keep it pointing up so it's not risking dumping on the site. With the extension hose, I like to just lock the two ends together. It keeps it much more sanitary and prevents any leaks when I'm storing it in the bay. And the Sidewinder support system is really easy to put away too. You can see the nice hinges and it allows it to fold back up on itself. And I can just sit close to where I'm going to store it in the bay and just grab it and bring it to me. Super simple. And the handle just goes on it very easy as well. Now it's got a handle on. Nice and compact. I believe you can even buy kits that include the sewer hose and a support system as well. We'll put the links down in the description below. So what do I think of the RhinoFlex sewer hose? Personally, I'm a huge fan of this product. When we first started RVing, I had one of the inexpensive sewer hose kits and it just wasn't holding up and I was a little frustrated because you know, when you're first hitting the road, you're a little bit unsure of yourself and then you start dumping the tanks and you hear all the horror stories and then here I am emptying the tanks and you see that hose squirming and squirreling around and you got to have a two-person job to try and hold it still so you're scared it's going to come out of the sewer connection. And it only lasted about six months and it started springing leaks and which can let little fountains of poo or fountains of wastewater. As, as a germaphobe, that's pretty scary to me. And so when I was replacing those, I decided to upgrade to a more expensive sewer hose, not really understanding how much better my life would be with it. But I tell you, it's a huge difference. Um, having this sewer hose, having it stay in its place, having it hold its shape is a really big factor. And then having the higher quality material is also very comforting to know I'm not going to be springing any leaks. As I mentioned, that first sewer hose I had only lasted about six months, but my RhinoFlex sewer hose we've had for over two years and it's still holding up strong. The only reason I bought a new one is because I wanted a new package to be able to show you what it looks like and also because the new version of it has a clear elbow, whereas the one I had before had a translucent elbow and that clear elbow provides better visibility to know when I'm done flushing the tank. When I say it's a more expensive sewer hose, it's really only about 30 bucks and the less expensive ones are about 20 bucks. When you buy a cheap one and you have to replace it every few months or every six months versus being able to keep a RhinoFlex for a couple years, by the time you replace those a couple times, you would have spent more on a cheaper, less effective product. So in my opinion, a sewer hose is definitely not something you want to cheap out on. <laughs> Looks like I've attracted a bit of an audience for a lot of people who want to hear about the RhinoFlex today, or at least a lot of deer. Well, that about wraps up our quick review of the RhinoFlex sewer hose. We'll, of course, put links to all three products in the description below. Please leave any comments or questions for us. We'd be happy to answer them. Please also let us know of any other products you'd like to see us review here on Road Gear Reviews. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.